parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Discretion is advised. Oh, hey. It is the raw wrap-up. We forgot how to do all this stuff. There it is. I'm gone for a week in Florida, and we forget how to podcast. Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here is the raw wrap-up. And this is where we talk Raw and such. Uh, minutes, moments after uh, WWE Raw and the this week, the ultimate deletion. Welcome to the ultimate Raw wrap-up with me. He's from Poughkeepsie, New York. He is Mad Mike. Yes! I want to see how long I can go with that. That was, that was good. That was good. That was good. And also Thank with you. us is... Larry joining us, who just witnessed the fu- ultimate deletion. He's not witnessed any of these uh, interesting, hardy compound uh, videos before, so we're going get, to get a clean slate uh, uh, of uh, what he thinks of them. That was the best episode of Scooby-Doo I've ever seen. Oh, man, was it? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, that, I think that's, that's exactly where we need to start. But, hey, yeah, check out everything WrestlingMayhemShow.com if you're catching this afterwards. Please subscribe to us on the... Wrestling Mayhem Show uh, Super Feed is where you can find uh, this show on the audio podcast version or the Sor- Sorgatron Media Master Feed, wherever you like to get your podcasting done. That's where that happens. Uh, so, because I, I, I definitely want to get Mike's uh, uh, opinion of this, because this is something we've been leaning up to for a long, long, long time. Way too fucking long. Way almost, too almost a year. Oh, wait, almost wait, a year. Can, can, we, can we talk about one quick thing before we actually get into the content of the Ultimate Deletion? Okay. Fuck Michael Cole. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Fuck Michael Cole forever. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, seriously, even if... I, even if it wasn't that great, which we'll we'll talk about, it, you never say to an audience, "I'm sorry, you have to watch this." Yeah, that's fucked up. Because I, how many people would have turned that shit off? Yeah, you never, ever fucking say that. Well, like, yeah, like, I mean, how many people like, and it, it sets expectations too, right? It's just like, well, this is gonna be weird, and I'm gonna hate it, yeah, you know. And, and, and I was expecting crazier shit. It, 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 get, all right, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. I, I want to hear Larry's unfiltered take. First Absolutely, before. Larry, first ever yeah. uh, Hardy, crazy, woken Hardy, broken Hardy, whatever you want to call yeah. it. What did you think? I liked it. Yeah, <laughs> it, I wasn't expecting any of that. There mm-hmm. were there were a lot of what the fuck moments, mm-hmm. but they were good what the fuck moments. Mm-hmm. Um, I was disappointed George Washington wasn't there, but I'm sure he was there in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted uh, him he, to. Be... It yeah. actually took him a really long time to cross the lake of regeneration. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. As a as a giraffe, it's very difficult no, to the... row a boat, as you yeah. can imagine. Yes. Yeah. No. And, and, and I am the wrestling mayhem show expert on giraffes. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm glad to see that. <laughs> there, there it is. There it is. There it is. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm you know I mean you know in the meantime it's good to see that that already Toys R Us employees are getting other um um employment. So absolutely. There yes. you go. There you go. Maybe you'll also have a position waiting for you on the uh, uh adjacent to the Lake of Rejuvenation. Maybe maybe you'll go back to the days when you were writing into the show and I thought you were a woman. Um, only if we go back to MySpace. Yeah, no, actually, yeah. I, when that I time think, when you lived in the I Bronx, think techn- I think technically my Lake of Regeneration moment is going to come when I'm in New Orleans in a Macho Man robe singing the glorious song. Don't jump oh, in yes. the Mississippi River; it's not clean. Yeah, don't do that either. Uh, but 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 yeah. So there was something a little different. It was. I mean, are you, is this something where maybe you were kind of prepared for it by watching Lucha Underground up to this point? A little bit. Yeah. yeah there yeah. are a lot of similarities. Yeah. I kind of. I kind of wish Lucha Underground would actually do more of that stuff, like spurst in between the in, in like in uh, arena. Um, like, like what, what, what do you mean by that stuff? stuff? Like, 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 weird... pre, like pre-taped um, outside of the the, um, the outside of the temple the kind temple, of things yeah. like that. I mean, they do to a point, don't they? We're, I mean, yeah, there's but a lot they're, of... they're they're. 
they're usually like backstage vignettes, like in between the action yeah, and yeah. the ring. There used to be just like, you know, fights in alleyways and stuff, and that doesn't happen quite as much anymore. Yeah. So or in a bar or something like that, yeah. right? But I, I I it was it was a good change of pace from the monotony that was the other hour and forty five <laughs> minutes of raw tonight. <laughs> um, Tina says, "Was it just me, or am I the only one who who heard uh, Bruce Campbell when Vanguard One was in boomstick mode?" You were not the only yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. You were not that's, the only one. That's that's, that's good. That's good. And then, I, love, I love that uh, he's uh, initiate what? Um, yeah. Do we do we get Husky Harris next week? Ask Alex. Oh who knows? no, we get, Hus- we get Husky Harris versus Vanguard One at WrestleMania. Yeah, apparently, because he did say he'd take care of him later. So. Exactly. You don't set that shit. Just like John Cena and the Undertaker, you don't set that shit up if you're not going to pay it off. We you had some you mean John Cena and Kane. Oh, we're going to fight, Larry. Oh, <laughs> but anyways, before Come we on. get to that, we have some comments. John says, sadly, <laughs> yes. sadly, I think TNA did it better. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, no, I'll agree it with was, that. It was new and fresh. There's a lot of retreads if, if you're seeing, if you watch both of them. They were like, this and is very it, familiar. You know where this was going. And in TNA, they had more freedom. Yeah, absolutely. Like like TNA, they have more freedom. They had more time. They fit, I, a, they fit a lot more into it than I thought they were going to, though. Yeah, oh. I thought I thought it was going to be a three minute thing, and then they were done or pushed it off to the next week. I, oh, Larry, Larry, um, my dear Larry, uh, you have you have a homework assignment. Oh, I'm going shit. to send you a YouTube link. Okay. Yes. You need you need to do a deep dive. Yes. <laughs> you need to do a deep dive on this. Yes. Because, uh, there's there's the final deletion. There's decay or delete. It, you, this shit gets this shit gets bonkers. Do we send him like, the entire episode of Impact Wrestling from the Dome of Deletion? Fuck yes, we do. Absolutely. Goddamn. I don't think I ever finished that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, only only for the reason I want to see what kind of match Larry will come up with, with for Mayhem Mania after watching all of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. King Maxwell versus Drake Maverick. That's my pick. Ah, oh, so good. So good. If you don't know that one, just look up uh, King Maxwell versus Rockstar Spud. Well, off the top of my head already, I'm going to say the Beast of Belfast versus George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You know what? Oh my god, yes, yes. Oh. Larry, Larry, Larry. I don't know how much time you have tomorrow before the show. <laughs> right, he, he's not on, going to sleep tonight. Instead of watching SmackDown. I really I, I no, haven't no, no. watched SmackDown in three weeks. I really hope okay. I really hope he watches this while he's working downstairs in his office oh, and I god. just hear what the fuck's from the basement. You'll come up with some crazy shit. <laughs> I I'll guarantee fucking tea that. Um You know what I realize? You know what I realize? What? He didn't um he he's also never seen the kangaroo video. I know. <laughs> Are you is this your sick I know is this a sick joke to try and get me Man, to watch Matt, Impact? Matt Hardy, Matt Hardy actually stars in the worst timeline of We Bought a Zoo. He does. <laughs> he does. Uh, I'm, Larry, I'm telling you, you need to do a deep dive on this. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. You, All right. You need to do a deep dive. I would even say call out sick tomorrow. Do me a favor. Just, hey, do me a favor. Hey, wait, wait, wait. wait. You know, we can start this right now. Chat room. Chat room. Can you please? I, I know a lot of you are on, on Facebook um, in our Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group. Oh, my God. Let's go ahead and start Tina, it. Tina Keys just said Smoking Joe Frazier versus Bart Gunn is right up Larry's oh, alley. Oh, jeez. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> please go over there. Let's start a thread over there on the Wrestling Mayhem Show group. And yes, please yes. post any videos of your favorite... Your your your, <laughs> um, your, all right, all right. your favorite hold on, hold on. your favorite uh, broken Hardy segment from TNA. All right, drop um, it in there. Hold on, wrestling. Larry, Larry, I'm well, going I'll to start tell it you, here. I'll start it here. Larry, I'm gonna tell you one word. That's all you need to know from one of my favorite parts of this whole of the whole broken Matt Hardy situation. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. It's one word. Hadoken. <laughs> Hadoken. Hadoken. All right. <laughs> As in Hadouken! Yes, yes. Trust me. All Do right. a deep dive. Do a deep dive. You will thank all of us later. 
me a long day. <laughs> Uh, all right, the post has started over on the Facebook group. You guys I are joining look, us live. The look, monkey of I, spots. I have, I have a second. I have a second word. It's okay. weed. Oh, it's weed. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I forgot man. about it's weed. What's, what's they rolled with it's weed for like way longer than they should have oh, too. What is that? Yeah, that yeah. is yeah. You um, you know what? You're gonna find out. You're going to find out. So now, does he need to watch this in canon order or, you know, I, I mean, it's kind of impossible at this point. Is there an order? Oh, there's an order. Oh, there's, there's, there's an, an order. order. It gets a little timey-wimey with all the, all the uh, space and time travel. What are the chances we'll see a WWE collection of you this? You know, there was a point when they buy TNA, which could be any day <laughs> oh. now. Um, <laughs> you, you know, there was a point. I don't know. Maybe they got rights to it in the in the thing, but who knows? I Probably don't, not. I Probably don't not. think so. I think there was a point technically. where they were going around, and they challenged every tag team in time and space. Yep. And... and- and some of them answered. And some of them <laughs> answered, including the Rock and Roll Express. Um, I'm pretty sure one of the Rock and Roll Express is still left on that fucking um, uh, lift. The cherry yeah, yeah, picker. yeah, yeah, on the cherry picker, yeah. Um, uh-huh. I... <laughs> oh, the, the expression. <laughs> this is professional wrestling we're talking about, just to, just to bring uh-huh. it back around, just to remind you of that. Um, geez. Uh, the... <laughs> Oh man, the monkeys' names are Bucks of Youth and DJ Z. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike, I need to tell you after the show about the DJ Z spot from this weekend and, and send you in that match. Holy crap! Uh, yes, but anyways, that, that's that's not here there there. Go check out IWC seventeen Indie Wrestling US on uh, video on demand and digital download. It was a good time. Gilbert versus James Ellsworth. Yes, that happened. I witnessed it. We filmed it. It's on the internet. Holy hell! Um. Anyways, rest of the show. Because, God, we could talk about I, – I think there's going to be a lot of hardy talk tomorrow. Well, all right. Um, I'm not going to be on – I'm not going to be on tomorrow because I – um, the the, the pen scan I'm actually going to is tomorrow, Sorg. It's not today. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I, I, I was in the city. I was ready for a pens game, and yeah. then I met I met some nice yinzers at the NHL store, and they were like, oh, no, the game's tomorrow. Wait, I'm you like, went to the city before you realized it was the wrong day? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh. Poughkeepsie is not close to New York City, by the way, guys. Just to no, put that, no, that geography out there. It's not. It's, it's a couple hours. It's a couple hours by train. So how did you play that off when you found out? I just said I was an idiot. And then just went home? You just yeah. turned around and walked home? That's probably... Well, I, I, I went to the comic book store. I got some WWE comic books. <laughs> As you do. Okay. As I do. And, and then I was like, okay, I can go home and watch The Ultimate Deletion. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, Tina Keys has the order for you to watch, Larry. Um, Final Deletion, The Leader Decay, The Great War, and Tag Team Apocalypto. In that order. That's I, don't think I, I don't think I've seen all those. Oh, so. All right, Sorg, hold on, hold on. <laughs> let, let, we should do this properly, hmm. Sorg. Um, we need to have a watch party. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do actually. <laughs> we all right. That this is what we need to do. We need to do a watch party of all of the broken Matt Hardy stuff. Oh yes. All right, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah. arrange that here off air. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll arrange that because that honestly, seems like it's a good. A, it's something that, we should have done a long time ago. That yeah. seems like a good Sunday project. So either way, either way, um, Mad Mike, yes. you're you're pretty happy with with Ultimate Deletion. I, I was judging by the reaction that Michael Cole gave. I was expecting a lot more, but I was fine with what we got. Yeah, yeah. I was absolutely fine with what we got. I, re- I would have liked to see um, uh, Rebby involved a little bit more. Mm-hmm. But I thought it was really cool how they um, used a lot of Bray Wyatt's past. Yeah. I did want the lawnmower to move by itself, though. <laughs> yes. I was yes. waiting for that to happen. Chair of wheels. <gasps> Mower of lawns. Like, how, I, that's I how I, that's that how I move by itself. That's how I'm introducing Hot Wheels on the show from now on. Yes, chair of wheels. Okay, I like it. <laughs> yes, hot of wheels. <laughs> Welcome. I knew you'd come. Heater, <laughs> heater of wheels. Heater of wheels. Um, anyways, okay. Well, hold on, hold on. Dave Podner saying he needed some King Maxwell. Yes. Dave, it was way past that young champion's bedtime. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. It was way past his bedtime. It was pitch black out there. It was. 
Was that the Mexico's mower from the chat room from John? No. <laughs> no, no, no. That no, that's the mower that Matt Hardy used to defile uh Brother Nero's lawn scapings. Yes. <laughs> and yes, Larry, that is in one of the videos. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. That's how the feud started. And, and Larry, it was over landscaping. Know, Larry, do you know what Illuminummies are? I'm assuming Illuminati Illuminati gummy bears? Mm, nope, that sounds no, you're, delicious. You're way off, but yeah. you'll find out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You know, it, like when they were supposed to be in IWC, that was part of the challenging the teams when they were they were supposed to challenge the champions, mm-hmm. and then they weren't allowed to wrestle after the WrestleMania appearance. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Oh God, that whole thing too, where the, where Vanguard one turned into a teleportation device. Oh yeah, yeah, it kind of turned into a. Tardis. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they'll yeah. teleport back to TNA and yeah. Oh jeez. Okay, so let's talk the rest of Raw. Yes. Yeah, so, um, do you, I guess, uh, uh Matt, Mike, <laughs> do you like police brutality? Because I do in my wrestling programs. I especially like it from my faces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I especially like it from my faces, especially you know, in in Texas, where let's be honest, we probably shouldn't do that in Texas. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot happening in Texas these days. Um, other than evoking uh, Walker, Texas Ranger, uh, in my head. To, to now see, that would have been great if if Kurt Angle went for the for, went for authorities and just Chuck Norris came out in a cowboy hat. <laughs> And just karate they, kicks them they, in boots. They spent all like, their money on the giraffe. They couldn't afford Chuck Norris. This is true. This is true. Oh, yeah. no. That's that's Matt's personal giraffe. Oh, oh I knew shit. it. I wow. knew it. I, I was like, nah. He went I to like a it. local zoo for that, an animal park. But, you know, it's, it's I don't know. Do you like, and I think this is still the case. Like, the Hardy brothers still live on the same land. Yeah. That they used Absolutely. to. Absolutely. Like Absolutely. They, like, it's like this big plot of land that just the Hardy family owned and just Matt built it. When they got their money, Matt built a house over here and Jeff got a trailer over here and that was it. Like, legitimately, I think like it caught on fire one time, right? Or that's what was raided. Uh, so. Yeah, yeah. Christian set the fire, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. Uh, that's right. That is something they my, did. My dog. My house. <laughs> He All was, that was real too, and that wasn't that was even in the final deletion. No, that was WWE like circa two thousand eight. It was. It was <laughs> okay, uh, but anyway, is weird, you guys. Wrestling is real weird. Wrestling is real weird, guys. Uh, Braun, uh, Braun against uh, Cesaro, a lot of fun. Uh, just, although you forget I, how big Cesaro is. Yeah. Next to Braun, yeah. dude. Braun blew up. Yeah, yeah. How about, how about Cesaro wearing, wearing out Braun Strowman tonight, huh? I think well, he's, he's put him through I his paces. That, I think that was by design, though, like to show that Braun may slow down a little bit, and that's only fighting one of the bar. I think he had one too many burritos of catering. Well, that's po- that's a possibility as well. Uh, but anyways, uh, other than that, I, uh, Alexa Naya, I... You know, Nia just like. Uh, by, by the way, Mike, did you notice Mickey James got hit by another train tonight? And that was name was <laughs> Nia Jax. Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, hey, uh, did did you like Ronda Rousey being in the ring again on Raw? Oh. I totally missed that. What happened with that? Oh no, no, she wasn't there. Oh, she pulled yeah. a Lesnar. She's supposed to be there every week. You know, no special contracts, right? Every week, you guys. Huh. <sighs> Uh, grumble. Anyways, grumble, 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 grumble berries. Um, other than that, you did get John Cena against. Oh man, Kane came out. You guys. Yep. This we still have a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everything's gonna be fine. There was a little nope. bit. He came out. And we're like, man, Mike's gonna be pissed. Oh, when Kane came out, I got real scared. I got real scared. And then <laughs> they announced Kane versus Cena next week. I'm like, oh, okay, we're fine. Um, There's a good point. Dave's pointing out, did we miss Elias? Um, I think yeah, I think he was put in the hospital a couple weeks ago, wasn't oh, he? Oh, come on. That, ha- that happened no, months he, ago. No, he came out last week and he lost his smile. Oh, oh. He lost his smile. Yeah, he, he couldn't perform. Mm. 
He, he was in a neck brace. He could not perform. I would counter Brandon. And he's saying he learned from wrestling that WWE likes uh, musical instruments. I, I, I think I think that musical instruments were started by the Hardys in this in this thing. A lot of piano music. A lot of piano music uh, in, in that TNA um, situation. Uh, by the way, can we start a petition right now for Rebby Hardy to play America the Beautiful at WrestleMania? <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, she has phenomenal piano skills. She is. She I'm is. not even joking. I'm not even joking at all. But, Sorg, there are no owls. No owls. No. no. I swear, I thought we were going we're to see We're not putting that owl. opening. Not putting that opening out there, are we? They're saving that for Mania. There you go. Just a giant owl is going to come. All right, a giant CG this, owl. All right, do you think this is going to lead to anything at Mania? God, I hope so. Vanguard I 1's going to shoot an owl out of the sky. Vanguard versus Husky Harris is happening. Uh, oh, what if Husky Harris is Braun's tag team partner? <laughs> Oh man, they oh. can be Southern no, strong. No, Bronx tag team partner is gonna be Bobby Lashley. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> I'm th- I'm calling for Stephen Amell uh, to be his partner. I'd, that's a I'd perfect- be okay with that. You can put anybody in there. Can he's like I, 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 I I'm hope- on board. Can Senior Benjamin be uh, Bronze partner for WrestleMania? Can King I'm Maxwell on board. Can King Maxwell be Bronze partner for WrestleMania? I, I don't know. I, I think Lord Wolfgang is going to have a WrestleMania match before King Maxwell that does. That's true. And, and this question, Larry did bring this up. Is that really their kids' real names? Yes. Well, probably not. Yes. Probably not the Wolfgang, Lord part. Wolfgang and Maxwell. Yep. All right. Mike, anything else of, of note you want to bring up from the rest of the show? Because was there anything else on this show, let's be honest? Um, well, I... Uh, coach... Um, coach needs to go away. Really? You have a problem with Coach? I didn't I, notice him tonight. No. no. I, I... Basically, coach, anything... This was the first time I really listened to the commentary. Okay. Coach needs to go the fuck away. Oh. Like... Calling Corey Graves out that no one knows Mean Girls references when all he's been making every week is Mean Girls references. Like, mm-hmm. shut up, coach. Calling Cesaro a 16 seed. I mean, go back to fucking ESPN and deal with your sexual harassment suit. All right. Oh, oh. Just, just, coach needs to go. Coach needs to go. Wait, was there? Was he involved in a sexual harassment suit? He, he was named in it. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Right, but uh, coach needs to go away. Well, and also Kurt Angle needs to remember his fucking lines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's been kind that of brutal. Was rough. But I, I feel bad. About I think that. Kurt was... got thrown into the lake of reincarnation. <laughs> that a little was, bit. That was rough. Uh, We're gonna be hearing about that at first watch tomorrow or Friday. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen Kurt there since? No. No? No. I haven't been there. There was a, but... but those are some background uh, at, at the. No, no, no. Don't, don't ruin his breakfast. No, no. Don't no, no, ruin no. his breakfast. We're no, not no. going to tell you which first watch no, he likes to have breakfast no, 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 no. on Friday mornings at, but it's nearby. It's in the Pittsburgh region. <laughs> <laughs> what? There's like th- three or five of them, right? A- Alex Miller saying Braun's tag team partner is going to be Kurt Hawkins. I do like Senior Benjamin no. with a stun gun. He's gonna have. Oh yeah, that that. Oh man. He's gonna have the same scenario that The Rock and Mick Foley had with their after their heated rivalry. They'll become great tag team partners. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be Braun Strowman and James Ellsworth. Wouldn't it be amazing if it's Elias? I, oh, that would be amazing. Yeah, if he. I it, mean, I think we're leading to it being a lie. You think so? Yeah, if he has brain yeah. damage from that piano, he could think that they're best friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, could there be a little bit of like I, you showed me something, kid, kind of in there or something? No, maybe. I don't think so. Right? Or 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 is it just I can even win with this guy? I don't think no. No. Think no, so. if it, no. if it's I could even win with this guy, it's Kurt Hawkins. <laughs> That's true. If it's anything, if it's anything more than Hornswoggle, I'm going to be very uh, disappointed. Oh, this is a this is a this is a topic for tomorrow's show. But how does Mark Henry get into the Hall of Fame be- before Virgil? Um, <laughs> try. Right, hold on, hold on. Uh, on Mark Henry, since I'm not going to be on tomorrow night, if Mark Henry doesn't get inducted into the Hall of Fame. Wearing that fucking salmon jacket? <laughs> what the shit are we even doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Salmon jacket and or t- bus. Tina, ju- Tina just asked the same thing. <laughs> like, what, 
Like, what are we even doing if he's not wearing that salmon jacket? Oh, my God. Even, like, and John Cena should induct him. John Cena should induct him. Mark should walk out with the salmon jacket over his normal suit, and John should get real scared. <laughs> yeah. Like, I've seen this before. Yeah, yeah. Although, I, I think realistic, we'll get Farouk. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think realistically. Like, I can't maybe. think of anybody else that he was, like, a really big influence kind of hit with. Uh, maybe I mean, the hand should induct him. <laughs> I think the hand makes an appearance. Really? His own son. His own son. He's sitting in the front row. Yeah. Thank you for all my support and my family. Shot of the hand. Um, <laughs> damn it. Larry, Larry, how much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? Man, I'll, I'll say two hours. I'm going to flat two hours myself, too. I was thinking that, too. What about you, uh, Mad Mike? I'll say an hour 40. Hour 40? Okay. Yeah. That's Not generous. Bad. Yeah. That's high for me. That's, yeah, that's, that's, high for that's two hours for anyone else. You got that shine from the final <laughs> deletion uh, going on. Ultimate final deletion. Well, well, honestly, you could skip all the stuff with the Miz, and I hate to say that because, mm -hmm. but uh, it's a holding power pattern until pattern Mania. At oh this my point. God, it's such a holding pattern. Yeah, Miz deserves yeah. so much better than this. Well, so does the whole tag division. But you got to give shout outs for him referencing Tyler Black and Prince Nevitt. Nevitt. Prince Nevitt. <laughs> like, all right, I, I get if he's trying to, you know, mock them, I, I think he should he should have gotten both names wrong instead of just misspeaking. Mm -hmm. Like Skylar Black and Prince Nevitt, like that's the joke. Yeah. Yeah. That's the joke. Either you're gonna say the names right or you have to get both names well, wrong. He might have screwed up saying Tyler Black. He might have meant to say like mispronounce it and then just Either way, right. either way, yeah. whatever you want the story to be, he guys. Should, he should amateur hour. Kylo, he should have called him Kylo Black. <laughs> amateur hour. Yes. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Larry, for joining us and sticking around yeah. here. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Mad Mike, Poughkeepsie, New York. Uh, check Absolutely. him out at the Pens game in New York City tomorrow night. Um, yeah, if you see me at the Pens game in New York City. Hi, Mad Mike. Uh, you can shot me. Sure. Why yeah, not? you know, it's the right venue. Sure. I'll throw it out there. Where do they play? They don't play at Barclays, but, right? But when you chop me, you have to say, let's go, Pence. Where, do they, where, are, you, Mike, are, what? You going, where are you going to the garden or Barclays? Oh, you should Barclays. Think, Barclays. Are Barclays. you sure? Are you sure? Sorg, Sorg, my company is getting liquidated. I can't afford the garden. <laughs> <laughs> and in the meantime, uh, <laughs> if anybody has a job for a toy slinger like Mad Mike or as a paying <laughs> podcast host, or uh, maybe you can dust off the chemical engineering degree. Uh, well, you know, degrees, degrees, multiple, degrees, multiple degrees. I got, I got, I got two of those bad boys. See if Senor Benjamin needs an assistant. There you go. <laughs> I wish you should reapply. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at preparing battlefields. You should reapply for a job at WWE. Um. Maybe we'll talk about something off air, Sork. All right. In that, in that note, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, everybody in the chat room joining us. Uh, John, uh, Tim, Alex, Josh. Uh, was there a Josh? I think Tony, <laughs> Dave, uh, all you guys hanging out in there. There was a Josh. There was a Josh. I thought I just saw one. No, wait. That's no, John. That's John. Yeah, it, was, it was Josh Matthews. No, it was John, yeah, I think yeah, there was John a Josh. There's completely he's a Josh jealous. earlier. Sure. He's Either jealous. way. Whether your name is accurate or not, or your name Josh, thank you so much for joining us. Main show is coming up, Wrestling Mayhem Show, 9 p.m. Eastern Time on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group. Subscribe to everything uh, all over the place, WrestlingMayhemShow.com for all the linky links and all the other great stuff going on. Great interview we had last week with the Beast Man. It was actually an interview. He did not just grunt the entire time. I had to explain this to Chachi a couple days ago. And, of course, please go check out amazing, uh, amazing string of shows that have been happening over at IndieWrestling.us, including IWC17. Again, Gilbert versus um, Gilbert versus uh, uh, Ellsworth. James Ellsworth. Uh, uh, an amazing match with Jason Gorey versus DJZ. Burr, 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 burr. Thank you. Uh, which uh, the, the comment after that, Chachi came up to me and says, that match made me sweaty. He was ringside with a camera, but still, like just following the match, he was he was he was sweating out there. Uh, so a lot of fun, a lot of great stuff going on. The honky tonk man made a damn appearance. Holy shit! Um, and then I come back here, and there's a honky tonk man signed autograph to me on my desk. Yep, he was at our nice. local comic book me. store. Yes, he was. So thank you everybody for joining us. We'll see you next time. Uh, until then, keep it raw.